Hey everybody, Jason here again with gd and Basics and our video question line. Uh, today's topic is composite profile control. And today's question is on composite profile with the drawing you see here. Uh, there's actually two example feature control frames and two questions for both of them. The first question is, are the datum structures in the two examples above valid for this drawing? And if they are valid, wouldn't both examples yield the same results when inspected? So let's take a look at it here. Uh, the sample drawing shows the top surface or this large surface here as datum A, this bottom edge here as datum B, and this side edge here as datum C. And the first example feature control frame is obviously a composite profile control where the upper frame, the tolerance value is 0.5 and the lower frame is 0.1. Now I've drawn in the sample part here, so the edge we're concerned with is uh, highlighted in red, and we have a tolerance zone of 0.5 representing that upper frame, for example, 1. Now that surface can go anywhere inside this tolerance zone, but this tolerance zone is locked, centered at true profile. And true profile would be identified using basic dimensions, and I know we're missing some of those basic dimensions on these drawings, but imagine we pulled those basic dimensions from a CAD model. We know exactly where that true profile needs to be. And that tolerance zone centered at that, so this profile can be anywhere inside this tolerance zone and pass that upper feature control frame. Now for the lower feature control frame, it's a composite control, and so the lower frame is only controlling orientations. So A, as it always has been, is only controlling orientation, and, and that is perpendicular, if you're looking at this surface, perpendicular in and out of the plane with respect to that top surface. Uh, so nothing's changed there, same interpretation. Uh, a could never control locations, so no, no harm, no foul there. Uh, B is then introduced as this bottom surface here. And now the orientation of our surfaces are all going to be controlled to a tighter tolerance zone of 0.1 with respect to B. So really, this flat surface here is now parallel to B to point 0.1. And this one's perpendicular to B to point 0.1, as well as perpendicular to A, right? Uh, and so we see a smaller tolerance zone that looks something like this. But the unique thing about this tolerance zone is it can move in translation. So it can move up and to the right in translation, and it can move down and to the left in translation as well. Uh, so it can move all sorts of ways. But what it cannot do is tip out of orientation, right? It can't freely move in rotation away from B. So this is what B is restricting. The tolerance zone stays oriented to B. Uh, and so orientation only, not location. So this tolerance zone can, can stay horizontal and shift vertical all at once. Um, it can move and translate all at once. What's ultimately stopping location this profile is still just this top feature control frame. And so since B is already controlling the rotation this way of this refined tolerance zone, C is unnecessary in this uh, feature control frame. You can add it, you can leave it, but it's unnecessary. It's being redundant, essentially. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of C. And that now that is a valid uh, feature control frame for composite control. And again, that lower frame is only concerned with the orientation. So refining the orientations, if we will, no location refinement. Now let's go ahead and consider example number two. Example number two, just like we saw above, has 0.5 tolerance in the upper feature control frame and a 0.1 in the lower feature control frame. So uh, we are still controlling the location in the upper frame, but what's interesting is C has dropped off in this example. And so what this feature control frame is telling us, in the upper frame, the location is unrestricted in, C, in the lateral movement away from C. And so this profile can exist over here in pass inspection, and it can exist over here in pass inspection. In fact, it could probably fall off the side of this part and still nothing is a rejectable criteria here. So um, while this might be valid, it's probably not practical. Um, and so just remember, without C here, you are no longer controlling that location laterally uh, in either one of them. Obviously not in the lower feature control frame either because that was never controlling the location to begin with. Uh, so that lower feature control frame, just like the one above, is going to control the orientation to A, so the perpendicularity of these faces as they're in and out of the page and then the orientation of the pattern of the surfaces with respect to B, so it won't be able to tip out of rotation. Uh, so this purple tolerance zone can't come up at an angle like we saw before in this one as well. But it can move, right? So the purple one can move up and down 
uh, vertically. It can shift up and down, but it can't rotate. So uh, while this lower one is valid, it does bring up a lot of questions in the fact that it's not um, fully defining all of the location of this pattern of surfaces. So to answer the questions quickly, question one, are the datum structures in the two examples above valid for this drawing? They are valid uh, with the two tweaks that I would say is when you drop C off the lower feature control frame on example one, it makes much more sense. And without C in example two, it doesn't make much sense, although it is a valid control, it's just underdefined. And then question number two, if they are valid, wouldn't both examples yield the same results when inspected? Uh, no, because C being dropped off in example two uh, does not control the location. And so when location is not being controlled with respect to datum C, we can have a lot more parts be accepted um, because they're allowing much more variation in that lateral direction. So hopefully this uh, helps explain things a little bit for this example. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by training experts.